Well, I just got back from vacation, so I didn't really make a video for this Wednesday. Um, Mondays and Fridays tutorials on programming are done, um, so I hope you're enjoying those. Next week, hopefully I'll have a chance between now and then to make a video for next Wednesday. I'm probably going to be uh, reviewing the software uh, Huggins. Or Huggin? I don't know if there's an S at the end. Huggin, no S. Um, which is a program used uh, to make panoramas uh, from images. Um, a lot of cell phones have software like this built into either the camera or you can get a third-party software. Um, but uh, especially if you're using something like a, like a nice little Canon like this or something, or, or a cheaper camera or a point-to-shoot, uh, you know, you're going to have to do that once again on the computer. And, yeah, you can open up GIMP, and I think there's actually a panorama plugin for GIMP that I used years ago. But uh, Huggin does a great job. Uh, I do many examples, uh, things far away, things close up. I use my cell phone for some shots. Um, I gave you, uh, I'm going to do a few examples on stuff that doesn't work. And I'm just going to just touch the, you know, the basic idea of it. Uh, because if you look at it, Huggin has a lot of options. And I have played with the bare minimum and it still does a great job. So that will be next week's. But for now, and then the week after that, I'll probably look over, or at some point, um, using some JavaScript to make it so you can create a panning, uh, take those panoramas and put them in an application that you can pan uh, on a cell phone, tablet, uh, mouse, you know, or with a mouse. Um, so for examples of those, if you look in the description of this video, I'll put links to the shots I took. Um, probably close to 10 of them, in different places in Colorado. Uh, and there's probably one or two that I didn't do a complete 360 panorama. So as you're scrolling through, you're going to get a line. It's not going to be a, a perfect fade uh, because I didn't spin all the way around. Um, and there's one where there's like a dark patch where it didn't blend the uh, colors perfectly. But other than that, it did a great job, and I'll be talking about that software more next week. So check out the links in the description. I have plenty of shots, houses, mountains, towns, street views. Go ahead and have a look, and I'll talk more about that more next week. I thank you for watching. Sorry I didn't have more for you this week. And I uh, hope that you have a great day.